Hiroshima. We know this city has a past, but now Hiroshima is a modern cosmopolitan city with excellent culture, nature, and food. Hey guys, I'm Yusuke Nasu, and today's Japanese quest, I'm gonna introduce the seven best places to visit in Hiroshima. That's coming right up. Number 1. Shukeian Garden Shukeian is a beautiful garden that was constructed in 1620. This garden offers a relaxing moment in the center of the busy Hiroshima city. The most iconic object here is this semicircle shaped bridge named Kokokyo. It's translated as Riding on a Rainbow. Like the most of the Japanese gardens, Shukeian is constructed as a strolling garden, which means visitors can enjoy different views by walking around. This beautiful garden often attracts newlyweds to capture their happiest day of their life. If you get tired of the bustle of the Hiroshima city, Shukeian Garden is a great escape. Number 2. Miyajima Island Miyajima is a sacred island in the southwest of Hiroshima city that can be reached less than one hour by train and ferry. The main attraction of Miyajima is the Itsukushima Shrine. It has over 1,400 years of history, and it is even the source of the island's name, Miyajima, that is literally translated as the Shrine Island. The most symbolic figure here is this. At high tide, this giant tori gate seems to be floating on the water. Because the whole island is sacred, they needed to build this entrance gate out of the island. At low tide, the water drains out of the bay, and we can actually walk to the gate. The contrast between the high tide and the low tide is the most interesting aspect of Miyajima, so be sure to check its tide schedule. Number 3. Mount Misen After the Itsukushima Shrine, why don't we climb up the Mount Misen? The Mount Misen has an elevation of 500 meters, and it takes about 2 hours on foot to the mountain top. Or, if you are as lazy as I am, there are ropeways that can carry us to the Shishiwa Station on the mountainside. From the Shishiwa Station, it takes about 20 minute walk to the summit. The mountain top offers a fantastic view. We can see the Hiroshima city in the north and the Seto Inland Sea in the south. This mountain is my favorite place in Hiroshima, so when you visit the Miyajima Island, be sure to check Mount Mesa. Number 4. Mazda Museum Just 5 minutes away from the Hiroshima city, Mazda Museum locates near the Mukainada Station. An auto company, the Mazda Motor Corporation, runs this museum, and it showcases their innovative technology and history. We are taken to their museum by Mazda Bus, and remember, a reservation on their website is needed to join this tour. This car was a one million. With attendance of an English-speaking guide, we can learn about Japan's car industry and manufacturer. The best attraction here is the assembly line tour. Unfortunately, filming is not allowed but the Mazda company was kind enough to provide us footage. The Mazda Museum is worth a visit, and who knows, your next car may be gonna be Mazda. 
Number 5. Peace Memorial Park Peace Memorial Park is dedicated to the legacy of Hiroshima as the first city in the world to suffer a nuclear attack. Some notable spots are the A Bomb Dome. On August 6, 1945, the atomic bomb exploded 160 meters southeast of this dome. Today, it is one of the few buildings that still remain. Children's Peace Monument The statue on the top is based on the true story of Sadako Sasaki, a young girl who died from radiation from the bomb and who believed if she folded 1,000 paper cranes, she would be cured. To this day, people from around the world send crane here to pray for peace. Memorial Cenotaph is dedicated to the atomic bomb victims. The arch shape represents a shelter for the souls of the victims. This monument is inscribed with the words, Let all the souls here rest in peace, for we shall not repeat the evil. Visiting this memorial park makes you think about wars and peace. Number 6. Peace Memorial Museum the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum is located inside the Peace Memorial Park and it documents the atomic bomb and its aftermath. A number of items and images show us how that horrific event affected the Hiroshima city and its people. Though let me stress that the exhibits here are not concerned with blame or accusations. They are more like reminders of that we should not take peace for granted. What I love most about here is the signature books right before the exit. They are filled with people's warm comments, how they thought about the museum, how they felt about the exhibits, and how we learn from the past and strive to make a better future. Number 7. Okonomimura Last but not least, let me introduce Okonomiyaki, a Japanese pancake made with various ingredients. And the best place to experience that is Okonomimura Village. It is a building dedicated to Okonomiyaki. From the second floor to the fourth floor, the building contains about 30 Okonomiyaki restaurants. Okonomiyaki means however you like to bake. As the name suggests, we can choose a variety of sauces, ingredients, and so on. After the long day we had, let's finish our journey by spoiling ourselves with Hiroshima's soul food, Okonomiyaki. So that's the 7 best places to visit in Hiroshima. If you have more time, I also recommend day trips to Onomichi City, Okunoshima Island, and Shimanami Kaido Cycling Road. And if you have other recommendations, let us know in the comment section below. Okay, that's it for today. I'm Yusuke Nasu, and thank you for watching Japanese Quest.